Hello people, it's Fufu here. I've got a quick moment that I thought I'd capitalise on to record some stuff while I'm not revising. So I'm going to be bringing you a tier I dearly love. Uh, I loved it from last generation and it's come back this generation which is so exciting. But first, I wanted to mention that you probably saw my update video saying I may well not be able to upload as frequently because I have to revise for exams next week. Um, so what I thought I'd do would be kind of a thing to get smaller YouTubers involved and get some exposure on my channel so this is calling out smaller YouTubers I would like you to maybe submit some videos for me to upload on my channel I haven't fully thought out how it's gonna work yet but I'll put it in the description of this video but if you're interested in getting your video on my channel then that would be great because it would mean you would get some exposure you could get some feedback from my viewers so that they could tell you what isn't working so well and what is really good and you should focus on. Um, it means that I'll get uploads and it means that my viewers will get more Pokemon content. So it's all really, really positive and I wanted to do that. So if you're interested, leave a comment and that will be great. I'll probably put some more information in the description if you are interested. But for today, we are going to be doing some tier shift. Now what tier shift is, it's a way of trying to balance all the Pokemon. Um, so that they can fight in one tier basically and they do that by boosting base stats of Pokemon depending on which tier they're in so if you're an OU Pokemon you get absolutely no boosts because you're OU you're already really good if you're UU then you get plus 5 to all of your base stats if you're RU you get plus 10 to all of your base stats and if you're NU you get plus 15 to all of your base stats now looking at my team you can see it's very very NU heavy because that's the tier I know and you get amazing boosts from it so why not so I'll take you through real quick I've got Marowak he's really good he gets good bulk all round and also gets a 95 base attack which is then doubled because of the thick club so he's actually hitting six, over 630 attack there so that's ridiculous that's just so much attack then we have uh, Feraligator, I like this guy because he's a setup mon, um, he's got base 120 attack with the, with the boosts from being in NU, but then look at his bulk as well, he's got base 100 HP, base 115 defense and base 98 special defense, it's just ridiculous, so really easy setup opportunities hopefully. Um, we've got uh, Gorgeist who is also NU, ridiculous physical bulk and decent special bulk. Put a bit of uh, investment in the attack because I'd like some powerful priority. We have my Scarfer which is hot stuff, the Magmortar. This guy is really good just because he has a stupidly high special attack stat. He gets base 98 speed which isn't ideal because it's still slower than base 100 Scarfers but that base 140 special attack is what we're looking for. It's also a bit of a problem not having U-turn or anything and he's weak to rocks, but oh well. Um, then we've got the man, Electivire. This guy is so great because he has a respectable base 105 speed now because he's only in RU, I think. Um, and he's got base 133 attack. But then he's also got base 105 special attack, so the Volt Switch should be doing some damage there as well. He's banded just so that you can hit even harder. And finally, Dragalgi, this thing is really good. I was running an AV set, but actually, Tear Shift is really, really bulky just because everything gets boosted to its bulk. And the thing is, it's kind of out of proportion because when you get an attack boost, you get an attack boost. But when you get a bulk boost, you get an HP and a defense boost or and a special defense boost. So you just get a lot more bulk than you do attack in this tier. So there's generally quite a bit of stall. So I wanted some toxic spikes on there to hopefully stop the stall a bit. Um, so yeah, that's the team. Let's try and get a match. Why? Okay, so we have a battle. I just had one which I waited ages for and then they just timer stored themselves out. They set the timer and then didn't make a move and it was really annoying because tier shift, it takes quite a while to find a game. There aren't that many people playing it. It's not that po it's not that well known because it's not the other meta of the month. It's just another meta and people don't really know about it. But it's super cool and I hope that more people will play it. Anyways, this team kind of encapsulates what I think when I think of tier shift, which is a bit of a shame. 
um, because it can be really fun, but people just offer stally stuff, and this looks particularly stally. Um, but if I get my T-Spikes up, that's really good because he doesn't have a way to get rid of them. And to be honest, I think it's reasonably okay if I lead with my T-Spikes. Because he's most likely going to lead with his rocks. Although he could have rocks and spikes. That could be a problem to my team. I could lead with this guy. Might not be a bad idea. Let's lead with him. Because he might lead with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh's going to be a bitch to deal with. But I can get huge boomerang damage on. He probably won't realise how much damage this is going to do. So that's good. And does... Yeah, it's a 2-hit KO. And that's not a 2-hit KO. Um, so he may well want to switch out right now. I'm going to get on my rocks. And yeah, he'll probably want to switch out to his Rotom. That was really, really good damage. As he does go into the Rotom, so my rocks are there to stay now. He's kind of forced to go for the overheat or the burn. I'm going to go for my Dragalgi, get the toxic spikes up because that will really help. As he goes for the trick, which is a good play, although he's got the Black Sludge, so that's nice. <laughs> the Rotom's going to die even faster with Black Sludge and the rocks. That's really, really good. I'm going to go for a T-Spike. Um, I know I'll have to switch after this, but that's really, really nice. As he goes into Jelly Pants, and that thing is like a bit of an issue. It's a bit of an issue, because I don't want anything to get burned, really. But then I can't really go into my Magmortar either, because I can't do anything. So that is a problem. I really want to be in on that thing with this guy. And I can't be because I've just locked myself into T-Spikes. Unless I get another layer of T-Spikes up. Which is not a bad play. I'm going to go for another layer of T-Spikes. That does nothing because I am especially defensive. So I can get two layers of T-Spikes up. As he is just going for the Shadow Balls. Am I going to my Magmorsa to take a hit? Oh, he goes into the Cobalion. Yes, I do outspeed this because I am Scar Magmorta. And I can just go for a Fire Blast if he brings the Jellicent in. Oh, and he just forfeits. No! Right, we'll have to find another one. Ah, God damn it. Okay, so we've got a battle against a guy who timered out like before, which is really annoying. Don't know why he did that. Um, last time he led off with a shift tree, so I'm gonna try and predictify that a bit ish, not really, but ish. Maybe go for the man. I wanna go for the man. I mean, he can take a hit from most things, anyways. So let's see if oomp, oomp, oomp makes a move this time. As he goes to the shift tree again, I can just go for the ice punch right here that should take it out because I'm banded with a massive attack stat and no! How did you live that? How did you live that? What? I want to go into chomps right here because he's going to go for the sucker punch. And I can just go for an aqua jet because this guy's got really good bulk so a sucker punch is not going to be doing too much and I can take it out so that was all right apart from it's so disappointing god damn the man Electivire has never let me down that was probably a bit of, no that's probably not true but still anyways waterfall is going to do huge damage I can easily take that because of my ridiculous bulk and ugh, that will be a two hit yeah I will be able to take it out with aqua jet so this is looking good this is looking all right chomps with his stupid bulk and stupid attacks that is doing things. Um, now he brings a Mesprit. Now Mesprit is a really good Pokemon in this. I have used it myself. It's got uh, 95, 120, 120, 120, 120, 95 as stats, which is just incredible. Um, and I don't really know what it's gonna do. It may well start calm mining on me, which could be a problem, but then again, it could just go for the T-Bolt. Uh, uh. You set the timer. I, I hate people when they do this, when they think they're in a good position and set the timer. But I'm gonna just go into this to see what you want to do. You do want to go for the T bolt. I have the Electivire, which was a very risky play by you. Um, now you're gonna go for the Psychic type move, and it's probably gonna hurt a bit. But I don't have too much use other than this for this guy. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and get a poison on it and we can see what item it is it's probably assault vest looking at that no because i'm not invested am i i'm not invested that will be a two at ko which is really surprising and like definitely with a crit so huh, he doesn't really have much uh, no i want to get some damage on and then go into this guy because 
Electric does a number to his team. It would be really nice to have. Or you could just go into Chomps, get. Oh, I'm so conflicted right now. Really conflicted. Because I could go into Chomps. I don't think I will live a Thunderbolt. I'm seeing how much Giga Drain did, but that wasn't 120 base attack. No, it was 115. So it was quite a lot. The Thunderbolt's more. Aqua Jet's not going to do enough though, so I might need to go into my Marowak. I think I need to go into my Marowak. Just go for a double edge. He might have the Ice Beam, but I should live for one because I've got the bulk. I'm just going to go for a double edge. Energy Ball, okay, I can live one. Get the special defense drop, not a problem. Do massive damage. That's great. That's really, really good. And just sack this guy off now because Mesprit's got good bulk. So, now I'm going to go into the man. Go for the Thunder Punch and take it out. Unless it's Scarf. It could be Scarf, but it's not Scarf. It was too bulky to be Scarf. So, now he goes into the throw. I could go into Munchkin for this. The issue is, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I can Fire Blast it, but he's still got the Wall Rain. Which is a problem. Which is a problem. He's got the Sash Throw. What? What? One second. One second. So Throw has 135 HP with base 100 defenses, and he's put a sash on it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's just leap seed something as he's going to go into the Dodrio. I can get the leap seed on that. I might be able to take a Brave Bird, but it's really not something I want to do. Uh. Yeah. So let's just protect here and see what you're gonna do. If you you can't Aki pressure, can it? Can it? That could be a problem, but I don't think it can. I'm just going to protect to see what you want to do. If you sub, that's an issue. Drill pick, I can live one. I can definitely live one, but it's probably not worth it. It's probably best to sack chomps, but probably not sack because I'll probably be able to live a hit. Yeah, I can easily live that. I'm not even in torrent range. Um, do I want to go for an aqua jet just in case he does have the brave bird and he's not choice? Not really. I kind of want to go for the sword stance. Yeah, he has the thrash. No. Okay, so I can go into hot stuff right here. That was a bad play. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? No, no, abort, abort. That was so bad. S s what? He has the snowball. Oh my god. Okay, I can easily live here. I don't know what I was scared about. He has the snowball. Amazing. Um, I can just protect on this. This guy, is, I don't even know why I was worried. Okay. Yes, you're a problem. You are a problem. So now that that's burned, I actually don't think I need this guy. I need this guy far more. So let's go into hot stuff. Presumably he's going to go for, yeah, he's going to go for an ice move. I can go for a T-Bolt just to get some damage on. And that does really good damage. And it means that I'll definitely take it out with my Electivire and my Gorgice can handle the rest, so that's fine. That's okay. That's fine, 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 fine. As he goes into the throw, which means I can get some good damage on the throw, or I could Volt Switch out, to be fair. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I probably just want a Thunder Punch. Or maybe not. Yeah. Wait. I've, I've been knocked off, haven't I? I didn't even realise that. That went way over my head. Uh, I don't need it for the bird. So I could just Thunder Punch. And he can EQ. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to Leech Seed right here. I just can't get over that sash. <laughs> and that's going to be healing me so much. If he burns me, that could be an issue. He doesn't have knockoff though, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, this is not looking too bad. I can protect, and then I can go for it. I'm not going to give him the guts boost. That's the thing I'm not going to... Oh no, he's Bull Mold Breaker. I didn't even see that. Oh, I can definitely burn him then. Um, and just get all my recovery. Yeah, I should probably burn him, because it just means I'll be at more health when the Dodrio comes in. 
because that does nothing. But I do get the burn. No. <laughs> Why? I'm. But if I protect, I will be gaining more back just because of Lefty's and Leech Seed. Has he's got a pain split? Oh no. He should die. Yeah, he does die. Okay, that's fine. So I'm as much health as I could be. And now I just have to Leech Seed. Dual Pack does nothing. This thing is too block. It's too block. And. Da, 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 da. Let's protect and win. Or I could just shut it. No, let's just. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyways. Yeah, that was the first game. Hopefully I'll get some more, but it does take a while to find a game. So people, play Tear Shift so I can find games very easily. That would be great. Okay, let's find another one.